And um, this is the second time I've been, um, I went to the Hall of Fame, my wrestling team, I've been in there 14 and 0 season, 1973. We were the uh, best team to come out of Ohio for a fermenter. And I was from a family of 10. And um, I got eight brothers and one sister, so it's a large Catholic family. Got a Catholic priest in the family here. <laughs> um, you know, our family, you know, it's kind of funny. You know, we had, uh, I had three, old, three older brothers that um, kind of dropped out of school. And I said to myself, man, my parents are kind of upset about over this. So um, I watched Dr. Phil show a lot. And he always says, somebody has to step up to the plate and make it happen in the family. So I decided to get my hair cut, um, go off the cross country and try cross country. And I made the state my first year. I was kind of surprised. I even trying to sport out. And then I got on the wrestling team there and made varsity real quickly. And um, so the um, parents were kind of impressed with all this. So as a result of all this, um, I started a chain reaction off in the family as far as all my brothers. I got Father Chris over here, he's class of 74. He set the Meyer relay record um, for the um, team. And he had a 51 second 440. And this is really impressive. My brother Jamie pinned in the sectionals. And uh, that was an upset. And then he went across the country and Billy, he was um, inducted Hall of Fame last one. He also was a two-time uh, state blazer. And um, Jamie, Bill, and myself, I think we had the best trio combination of most wins at Benner High School ever from a family. I think we had like 80 wins and uh, 17 losses. Then my sister Patty, my only sister, uh, she was a um, head varsity cheerleader. That was really impressive too. And Peter Burt, uh, he's over there. Um, he was the um, varsity starter for wrestling and um, baseball. And then my brother Terry, He's the youngest, you know, only 130 pounds. He jumped, uh, long jump, 22, four and a half feet. And um, the school record at Mentor right now is 22, seven and a half by Sharon Martin, class of 92. And Terry still is part of the, uh, owns a uh, track medley record. It still hangs there in the hall of the 1984 class. So um, mm. I gotta mention Jim Schoener. He wasn't mentioned tonight. Uh, he just kind of came lately. <laughs> I want to tell you about the coaches at uh, Mentor. This guy was an impressive, detailed drill instructor. He prepared us well. He always had a mandatory two to three mile uh, run right before uh, like a jog right before every practice. And that, I think, made Mentor so good because we were 14 and 0. And uh, we used to scrimmage late to community college and beat them. That's how good our team was back wow. in the 73s. Wow. And we beat St. Ed's and they're the powerhouse of wrestling right now. And but we had the perfect storm. And then practices were hard. And I remember one time it snowed early and um, and we used to have to run around the high school. The children goes up. Uh, we would start complaining, says it's snowing out there, it's two feet. He goes, Get out there and pull your uh, socks up and boots. It's good for you. Get out there and run, it doesn't matter. So uh, that was uh, excellent. <laughs> And then, um, <laughs> coach had practice on Saturday. Showing our wet hand, I said, and we were tired of practice on Saturday. He says, what's it gonna take in order for us to um, have an excuse Saturday practice? He says, shut the team out of wrestling. Shut them out and let you have practice on. So we wrestled Mayfield High School and beat them 62 to minus one. <laughs> <laughs> and coach showing our goes, Ah, it has been able to hardly let us have Saturday off. It's all about, uh, you know, the big goose egg, 62 to minus nothing. <laughs> but, um, other highlights are, uh, I'm in the Senior Olympics right now, and I started competing and at 60 years old, and I got three uh, state championships in ping pong right now, in Delta. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's never too late. <laughs> and, um, and, um, I, we also do the cycling. I got ninth place in the cycling in the nation, uh, in the five and ten k. And um, my brother Chris, which I, he is the fastest clergy in the United States right now. He does twenty-five <laughs> miles an hour in the five k in cycling. It's hard to do. I don't think he could have done that in high school. I, I doubt it. And, and then um, what other issue? Well, there's a guy I was reading up on YouTube. He's a hundred years old. His name is Fred Winters from Michigan. This guy does a hundred. He does 110 push-ups a day, he's 100 years old, throughout this day, 
He won the shot put, the javelin, the disc, and um, the 50 meter. And the only guy to beat him in bowling was 103 years old. <laughs> so it's never too late in order to compete at 50 years old. So, um, so that's what I'm doing right now. And uh, I just want to let you know that uh, I appreciate my daughter showing up here tonight and uh, Coach Schoenar and uh, a couple of friends from the high school team. And I want to let you know that um, you should do these Olympics even after 50 because it prevents the cognitive decline. It really does. It's so it's dementia. Yeah. So if you look over there, all the birds are they look like now nobody looks over four years old, they're all fifty and sixty years old, so we're all hey, go kind of weight, no, no bellies, we look good. <laughs> well thank you very much for the Hall of Fame. I appreciate it. Hey, all right.